Hey folks, Quillateen here, and we are back with another episode of Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer between Ethiopia and Yemen with Briarstone. Greetings. And, uh, yeah, we were just looking over everything. We're, we're all pretty comfy about stuff. Yeah, I kind of like what's going on currently. I'm about to go kill some rebels, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to throw some subsidies towards Oman and just to accelerate the timing for when I'll be able to, uh, to integrate them. Because I'm very oh, close. Yay. Yeah, that's nice. Super nice. So the rebels are now dealt with. I lost a total of a thousand people. Ish. Tell you, man. The best general ever right now. Also, the fact that the general is still alive. You ever got the event, right? Where you lose 25 legitimacy, 25 prestige. You get this three-star general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then he dies, like, you know, within a couple years. I was like, really? I'm a little bit aggravated. I'm not even going to hide it. I should make those subsidies bigger. Manpower. Where has the biggest manpower? Ooh, this has big manpower. Oh, the nobility is already there, though. Hmm. Oh, I have uh, estate events. I got to process here. Let's go for two points per year. Uh, hold on, I got an event with the estates I gotta read. There's gonna be a bunch of shit here. Because uh, I don't remember the names of who's who. Okay, the Ulemi are those guys. Okay, I can do this one. That's gonna be fine. Then call a Diet. That's gonna be okay. Military support, mm -hmm. like that. That's fine. Uh, we'll do the Monopoly Charters thing here. That's okay, too. Yeah, we're going to get 100 either way. You're still at 45. I guess I could still seek support of the clergy, but I'm worried your influence will get too high. All right. All right. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You need, like... Oh! oh! Hold on. The Ottomans are calling me into a war. The oh, hell? they're attacking Cora Coinlu. All right. Yeah, no. Go. Be free. Gallop across their lands. <sighs> Yeah, the thing is, I'm, I want... Hmm. This is not the same as what I was looking for. I wanted my own war against Korra Koinlu. Oh. So that I can take some territory. I probably won't be able to... Well, I'm going to say yes and maybe just not do anything right now. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is say no to the Ottoman. Thing, right? Yeah. That's, I think it's going to be fine. I'll go and, like, grab some stuff. Um. Yeah, War Ally has claimed it. Um, oh, they actually might conceivably mm -hmm. give territory to my vassal or something weird like that. All right, well, let's go. I'll bring it down to speed That's three, though. Oh, took some attrition. <laughs> my ships have actually taken some attrition. Yay. Hey! The Ottomans are giving me huge subsidies. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, five point four gold per month. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Diplomacy. Turns out it works out sometimes. Yeah, in war together, that'll go away after. But still, as soon as this war ends, I should be able to um, uh, annex Oman, one way or the other. I got myself some advisors and I'm still making money. Hell yeah. Trade efficiency. Nah. Well, my diplomatic relations, I'm down to three or four. You know why? Because I, I annexed my domit. So that means I could technically make some friends. Nice. I uh, actually won a friends. battle here too, so I'm going to get some war contribution. Yeah, the Ottomans don't want anything to do with me. They're minus 148 right now. Yeah, well, you know, you're a filthy Christian. What the hell, man? Well, reasons of being technically awesome. I am technically awesome. Um, I'm going to offer my alliance there. Yeah. There you are. So now me and Mercuria, or Mercuria, are currently um, 
allies. So if the Mamluks want to come any further south, they're going to have to deal with me. Mm -hmm. And possibly you. It depends. I don't know if you can get an alliance or if you have any diplomatic relations left over. Uh, well, I can't get anything with the Mamluks because they hate the Ottomans. Well, no, no, not with the Mamluks. I mean, uh, Makuria. I'm, I'm, I did Makuria so that I can, uh, you know, make the Mamluks weaker, really. I mean, that's a short-term goal. <laughs> oh, shit. Buzz, 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 buzz. Uh, maintain that, Diplomat. Um, I'm gonna get squished here. Can I escape? Nope. Can't even burn. Burn your way out of it? Well, I mean, I suppose I could scorched earth it, but there's gonna be a fight regardless. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sometimes I find that that works out. Sometimes it slows them down just enough. Or maybe it's just coincidence that I've done it and it worked out, I don't know. But burning it's still a good idea, just for now. Mm -hmm. right. Run. Oh, it's an interesting escape path. Sure. No! My three star! Your three star general died? Yeah, he's gone. Ah, oh, rip. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I was just about to go to war again with Azeroth, I waited too long. My automated diplomat is actually sucking up to France right now. Really? Yeah. It's like traveling really far away. What did you come to end up here? Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait with my war against Azeroth until uh, you're you're uh, capable of coming in. The Mamluks have a Renaissance. Do they? Oh, I can get the free war taxes thing. Yeah, baby. Uh. Boom. Cost me no power points to get war taxes. Nice. So what do I have as a mission right now? My mission currently is to... Oh, to go against uh, Azeron. So that's my mission. Lodia doesn't have any alliances. And you know what? I am going to build spy number. I know you like me, but I don't care. Lodia. Me and you are going to have some words. Choice words. Our body language is going to be that of dipping in and out with spears. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get a couple of calves. They're expensive, but they're good. I actually don't know if it's going to be that relevant for anything that's going on here. Let's see. <laughs> 27% war score. The Ottomans are sieging a crap ton of stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, the Ottomans are going to be scary later on, but right now they're very handy to have on my side. Yeah, no kidding. They further your war, your war goals. It's, it's, that's decent. Uh, you got to come and park yourself because you're just going to get attritioned in the little bay over here, the Persian Gulf. Mm -hmm. My poor ships. It's amazing the amount of, like, the short naval range that's going on right now. <gasps> Hessa! How often do you see that? The what? HRE, the Emperor of the HRE is Hesse. How often do you see Austria lose it at all? Wow, look at this. I, I, I see a whole bunch of gray. I, I can't even <laughs> believe it. Hesse is just a two-province country, too, so there's not a whole lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what led to that, but... I really want to see this. I, see your, I gotta see your point of view now, because I have no idea what's happening. Oh, damn. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. That hurts. I like mercantilism. That's five mercantilism. It's what now these days? Hold on, I gotta pause. Is it a hundred? It used to be two hundred, but I think it's a hundred to promote mercantilism. But then you lose the stability. You know what? I'm gonna kick both these guys out. You get four hundred power points for free. Millions of power points. Power points for me. So the fact that the Mamluks have embraced Renaissance. Now, not all their provinces have it yet, but it's growing everywhere. So. I actually, I don't think I'm going to go and boost Kinda anymore. I think we will get Renaissance. Oh, we're not friends with them, though, are we? Uh, yeah, it goes really slow if that was the case. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, it's not spreading to Hajaz. 
This is a shared sea, though, so when Suokin gets it, it'll spread across to my stuff. That's a long time to just sit and not have it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, how far along is uh, your... Um, oh, you're currently at 16, 18, 21, 24. I'm watching you do it right now. Yeah. As far as I'll go for now. Um, I'll probably... I'm, I'm still going to do it in Kinda. It's going to be fine. It'll also be nice to have one more developed province to put some good buildings in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do that so that it starts spreading from there. But it'll be the only one. And I mean, it's still going to take a while to spread to all of our provinces. So this will accelerate stuff. You know, it's cost me stuff, but it's going to help you. Yeah. And that'll that'll work out better for the two of us. Just the two of us. Aw, oh, what? 0 0.1. 0 0.1 what? Um, 0 0.1 in terms of its unrest. So it's gonna he's gonna have a revolt in 166.6 years. <laughs> and that's that's with my army standing on it, so I don't even care. I'm gonna move my army off of it. Um, if they wanna get mad, they can get mad. Maybe they'll get mad faster. Oh yeah, 4.2 years if I get off of them. Nice. That's better. Technically better. So what do we got going on over here? And Elodia is almost ripe enough for me to get myself a cast of spelling. Try to claim some land, you know. And they don't have any allies, which is hilarious. Um, might be worth doing. Maybe work my way all the way up to Berber. Take them, take them all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fabricate claim. It is now there. What does that say? Justified trade conflict? No. Fabricate claim. Here we go. Moves, draft it, tax it. Local trade <laughs> power. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no reason not to do that. I need a point on there just to balance these things at some point, but... Yeah, let's go and get infantry combat ability. Bam. <laughs> um, claims fabricated. What? Azeron is doing a thing? How dare you? You don't fabricate claims on me. I fabricate claims on you. <laughs> Lose piety, gain manpower. Yeah. Mm. Oster declares war in Baden. As you lose piety, don't you also get more money, technically? Uh, oh, okay, hold on. This war has ended. Mm -hmm. Um, We got a bunch of favors from the Ottoman, but that's about it. Oh, they released Qatar. That's interesting. I suspect, yeah, I can't fabricate on them or anything like that. Um, I got prestige. I got power projection. Right, because they're they're a freaking um, they're an enemy. I'm at 49. If I throw an insult at someone, then I can get above 50 percent. Mmm. Just for a little while, but it'll work out. All right. Well, I guess that's that. I'm just gonna run away home. Oh, wait. my power projection right now is tanked. Really low. I'm only at six right now. Really? Well, I guess you're not yeah. warring against people who are your your rivals because they're so irrelevant. Yep. Well, the only rival that I have um, that I can war against is Azure. But I was going to wait until you were done with that war. And, of course, when you're back in fighting shape. Um, I can basically go more or less whenever. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to fight this war against Elodia first. Because um, I, I feel I feel like it's going to be just a quick, quick-ass yeah. war. Yeah, it's I'm... a quick-ass war. <laughs> I'm going to start annexing Oman before we get into a war again. There we go. And, yeah, now I'm now I'm good. Okay. Awesome. Tribago. So income should be good right now because I don't have any yet. Ooh, eight gold per turn. I'm still getting the subsidies from the goddamn Ottomans. What? I mean, I'm sure they'll cancel it at some point, but right now it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> More expensive. This is 21%. Oh, Jesus. I'm just going to... No, we're doing this. Bump up the volume. I wonder if I fabricated... On the Mamluks. Yeah, I mean, the Ottomans would jump in. I could get the Ottomans to fight a war. I do still have a royal marriage, though, so... I guess we're not going to do that quite yet. Ethiopia, such a warmonger. What about Naj? Yeah. <laughs> Your tributary under quarter. Oh, I, that's perfect! 
because I can declare war on Najd and Korra might still be able to defend, but I wouldn't be truce breaking. Oh, okay. That'll work. There we go. Now that they've been beat up, they've been cut in half by the Ottomans, actually. Like, there's some horrible border gore. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> they've literally been split in half. Um, it's glorious. Oh, in, what is that purple bit in between that I can barely see? Uh, it is Ardalon. So Ardalon has been released. And I guess, oh, Hormuz was given a province. That's what went on. Mosque is done. Excellent. Let's go ahead and preemptively do this before I forget. And these whistles are currently okay. I'm just going to go and tell you to protect trade. Gulf of Aden again for now. Oh, Ottomans have cancelled the subsidies. Well, it was good while it lasted. I knew it wouldn't last forever, but... Help me build another temple. So that's interesting. If you take... If you take Elodia, you will be bordering the Mamluks. I think we've got a potential for a really good war very soon. Mm-hmm. No, I feel the same way. I'm just trying to figure out whether I want to, whether or not I want to go north first or south first. Because south, I, the thing is, is that Kilwa usually just gets more and more crazy. Wait, wait, hold on. Matup, Matup is Kil... Matup... That's different. Matapa is actually uh, taking out Kiwalad. That is indeed different. Hmm. Um, also, I just got a revolt. Of course I did. That's just what I wanted. Love that. Love revolts. Can you get down here and kick their ass, please? It's <laughs> your military tech. Yeah, it's only five, which is to be expected. Five, but I got like four or five uh, ideas in military as well. Oh, yeah, well, I wasn't looking at you, sorry, but yeah. Mammoths oh, okay. are actually six. I don't remember what six gives you. Oh, it gives you more military tactics. That's a little bit dangerous. Mm hmm. But the Ottomans also have six, so. That's helpful. The way to do it might be, with, if we go against the Mamluks, it might actually be to declare two separate wars. Like, I'll start, make sure the Ottomans get in, and then you start your own war. Although you might want to, you might have to, like, focus on piecing out as early as possible, so you don't get stuck soloing it. But. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go over the, uh, the the game plan here in just a moment. Yeah, again, well, I mean, we're not warring on the Mamluks yet. I mean, yeah. start against Naj and bring in Korra coin with. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if the Ottomans... I'm actually worried. Maybe the Ottomans couldn't help out. Because they will have a truce. Depends on how this triggers. I just mm -hmm. don't know if Korra Koinle will be able to go and defend. My manpower is holding together very well for this war. I will definitely be able to do... Uh... Azure on shortly after this. If you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all very good. Are there alliances again? Mombasa, Melindi, and of course Mogadishu comes because they're a vassal. But yeah, no, they're they're not gonna be. Yeah, I don't think the Ottomans will be able to join in. I don't know, we'll see. I might try. <laughs> then get my ass kicked. Hmm. Autonomy is 31.6. Hey, yeah, whatever, lower tax. I'll lower the taxes. They cry out for some sort of peace of mind. I'll give it to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I have 49% on the last bit of siege over here in Soba. Um, I can't claim. I'm gonna make off with all their noodles. Well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess once you're done, I could always, if things go badly, I'll be able to call you in maybe over here. 
This should be uh, fine. Core Coinly is not that dangerous. No. No, and I can easily just pop one over and say hello to them. High five them in the face, that sort of thing. Tell you what, I'll I'll call you in right away. But you don't have to okay. necessarily come in, but it'll give like strength of allies stuff. And we'll encourage them to peace out a little faster. I've got units to spare right now. I really do. Uh, there you go. The Ottomans will jump in. That's what I figured would happen, is after I started it, the Ottomans would actually participate oh. with Glee. So what you're telling me is I probably don't have to come over there now. No. No, we're yeah. good. No. I'll stay on my side of the Red Sea then. I apparently did lose a ship at some point. Siege of Soba is over. So super peace. What can I get out of this? I can get that. Wait. I should probably take a look at the states and territories. What do I get? And if I can finish this in time, I'll be able to give Oman a couple of extra provinces before I finish annexing them, which is always really nice. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Sonar, 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 Upper Nubia, Upper Nubia. This thing keeps on. You know what? Let me just pause this. Because as I'm trying to uh, mouse over and see what states and territories are available to me, mm -hmm. the next month when it ticks, it kicks me out of the states and territories um, map mode. And then I have to go back into it. It's just kind of annoying. So we got Sonar, Upper Nubia, Upper Nubia. So Sonar is only these. Only those two? Is that what I'm understanding? Because I want all of these. If I get Upper Nubia, I want all of it. And Shindy is being currently under the control of Medjabari, who was just being annoying. Okay, so. Um, right. Now we can go now. There you go. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, are you done your war? Eating all these guys up? Um, mostly right done. Um, yeah, the Ottomans are all up in Korra Koinlu territory. Although, oops, I am getting caught here. Oh, yeah. Make core out of all these simple, simple places. I'm gonna get caught again. Bop pretty hard here. Because I was looking <laughs> I was looking at something else. Oh yeah? Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Hey, again, it's like one of those situations where you're you're, you're going in uh, was weird. in real time and it's yeah. to keep up with everything. Anyway. Like normally I would have just been paused, but uh, I was looking at something else, and there was weird, like, two war battles in a row there that I got caught out on. That was kind of strange, but... Oh, well. Boop. Uh... There we are. Get she going. Still fine, I got the Ottomans on my side, so... 0.0% <laughs> problem. Right. Yeah, no, you guys are definitely doing well. 32% uh, currently. Mm -hmm. um, although I see that Naj is trying to take their uh, port back. Yeah. Which I find funny. Well, they don't have an I'll, army I'll, anymore. I'll, but I'm rebuilding I'll, it, I'll so send it's going to be fine. I'll send them my army over there. I'll just squash them. This will be my participation in the war. Not to mention I get some prestige out of it. Uh, that's true. Jesus, look at all of those damned mercenaries? Or you no, just got an army? No, regular troops. Okay. I gotta be careful though, the Coral Coinlu army still wandering around. I can bop that four stack, but. Oh no, black news! Did you die? Great... Yeah, my dude died. Such a good dude, too. Uh... I guess that's your vassal running around helping out with stuff. That's funny. Yeah. I suppose I chased him away by accident. I didn't really mean to. Oh, that's fine. Da, 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 da. I guess I'll, I'll move I back over here. I gave you something to do. Stretch my legs, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, just exercise your troops. Yeah. Which is Keep sort up. of kind of going to be a thing in the next expansion. Army really? drilling. What? It's going to give you something to do while, um, while you're not at war. Uh, you can drill an army. You can set it to drill. 
And what mm -hmm. it does is two things. One, for that one army, it increases the uh, the maintenance cost to full, even if you are okay. at zero maintenance. And it, what it does is it increases your, the professionalism and organization of your troops. Oh. Individual troops have a sort of professionalism rating, but also your entire country does as well. Or at least your individual troops will have a drill rating, but your country will have an army professionalism. The idea of like, uh, professional armies is like, you know, organized national army as opposed to relying on mercenaries and things like that. And it gives right. you huge bust to all kinds of different crazy stuff. Um, but if you're low professionalism, you actually, oh, finally, my sultan died. Thank God. Um, if, uh, let's pause actually, because the timer hit. Um, if you're at low professionalism, then like mercenaries and stuff are super cheap. Every time you hire a mercenary, your professionalism goes down. So you're going to want to have like countries that are like, I'm never going to hire a mercenary. It's all going to mm. be my own troops all the time. That's just... going to be an interesting, different strategy. Nice. I love that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Oh, did you lose your... You did lose your claims in these provinces. I suppose I can still give it to you to core up, but I don't think you're going to be done in time. Oh, well. All right. That's fine. So that's the end of a, another episode here. This one... Uh couple of rough spots for me with my troops, but everything is awesome now. And uh, Quarter Coin Lou is going to get obliterated. Seems you, like. I might have to get you to flip your occupations um, over to me. Just because uh, do I this, have any occupations? Yeah, you got a couple. It's I think it's your vassal going around doing Oh, shit. my vassals are doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll flip them. Um, just because I don't think you're going to want any of the land this far away. I don't even know if you can core them. I can't core that, no. But yeah. All right, well, we'll wrap this up here. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Later.